Hello everyone, this is Mr. Edmund So. Today I would like to talk the HKDSE sample paper Mathematics Compulsory Paper 1, Session A2, Question 10. Please read this message as this is the foundation of the whole series of this video. If you don't have enough time, please pause these videos, otherwise we go to the question. Okay, question 10a, this is talking about divisions of polynomial. We have the dividend polynomial, which is 5x cubed plus 12x squared minus 9x minus 7. And this dividend polynomial is divided by uh, divides a polynomial which is x square plus 2x minus 3. So we are doing non division here. The goal of non division is to eliminate the first term. How do we do that? Okay, now the first term in the dividend polynomial is 5x cubed. So we just simply uh, multiple the divisor polynomial by 5, 5x, we have uh, 5x cubed plus 10x squared minus 15x here. And then we do a subtraction in here. So we have uh, 2x squared plus 6x minus 7. So all we need to do is times the divisor polynomial by 2 and then we have the remainder here. Because we cannot multiple any uh, things besides a negative index, so we have to stop here. We cannot eliminate 2x by multiple anything rather than uh, negative index. So we have to stop here. Okay, so I conclude the question here as shown in the PowerPoint. This is the end of questions 10a. Now we turn our attention to questions 10b part 1. It just simply asks you to write down a and b in the scenario shown in the question. So let me uh, tell you a little story of division. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I have 30 divided by 7, you know that 30 divided by 7, you have a quotient 4 and the remainder 2. How about I subtract uh, 30 by 2. If 30 is uh, subtracted by 2, then we have 28, which is divisible, divisible by 7. So this question, 10b part 1, is using this idea. If I subtract the original dividend polynomial by the remainder that is 2x minus 1 then it is divisible by the divisor polynomial okay you in this case you can just simply write down a is equal to and b is equal minus 1 of course uh, we will have the other ways to prove it to you but first of all, I have to correct myself here. Okie dokie. So what I am doing now, I'm using the factor theorem. Uh, here is a little bit more about division. Let's say if I have a number 32, which is divisible by 8, then 32 is divisible by 4 as well as by 2 because 2 and 4 are both the factors of 
8 so with this same theory it is a uh, it is happens to polynomial as well so uh, x minus 1 and x plus 3 are both factors of the polynomial x2 plus 2x minus 3. So if gx is divisible by the uh, x2 plus 2x minus 3, then gx is also divisible by x minus 1 and x plus 3. So by factor theorem, I generate two equations which involves only A and B. And then we have simultaneous linear equations. After solving it, you still have A equals 2 and B equals minus 1. Just as I say at the end of questions 10a. Now we go to uh, Part B, uh, what's wrong with me? I always have this minor mistake. Sorry to waste your time here. Okie dokie. Now we go back here. Okay, by division transformations, we can change a division into the form of uh, multiplication and addition. So as far as we know, gx, gx in the form like a uh, two polynomial subjected, resulting just as uh, two polynomial times together. And then we can replace gx by uh, the factors form. As I said, if a number cannot be divisible, uh, cannot is not divisible by a divisor. As far as we subtract the dividend by the remainder, then it is divisible. So we can solve the equation by this idea. If we got three number times together and the result is zero, it's implied that it may be the first uh, the first factor is zero, or the second factor is zero, or the third factor is zero. If the first factor is zero, then x must equals minus three. If the second factor is 0, x must equal 1. If the third factor is 0, then x must equal minus 2 over 5. This is the end of the whole question 10. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any problem, please Take a photo of your book solution and email to me. If I have time, I will answer you back. Thank you very much. Goodbye.